Inspired by Karen Hull's use of drafting film, I finished this project a few months ago. She uses a scratch tool to create depth in the fur, but I didn't like the scratch tool at all on the drafting film. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm left-handed or my scratch tool isn't sharp enough, but it tends to slip over the fur instead of scratching in the hairs. In this project, I just used the white luminance to create the highlights. And there are a few teeny tiny dots done with gel pen. I know the gel pen on top of colored pencils isn't considered to be archival. And there is another disadvantage of gel pen. You can't layer down colored pencil on top of it. So I saw really great things done with the new brush and pencil mixture of touch up texture and titanium white powder and decided to try this magical mixture in my next project. So I could finally replace the gel pen. Eleona contacted me and told me she worried a bit about the adhesion of her products to the drafting film. And after a long nice chat and a couple of experiments later, we decided I would make a review of our products used on drafting film so we could share our conclusions with you. When you apply the touch-up texture to the drafting film and then try to color over it, this will lift the touch-up texture completely. The effect is really really bad. Your drawing will receive trashing states right away. So here's the first recommendation, don't apply the touch-up texture directly to the drafting film. The next thing was experimenting how the mixture shows up on a dark layer of colored pencil compared to the luminance white, the polychromous white and the two gel pens I had. As you can see, the Unibel Signo and the Magical Mixture dry up quite bright. The bad thing about the gel pen is when you try to color on top of it, it lifts completely, causing a ter terrible mess. That said, there would be the next question. When applied on top of the colored pencil, would it then have enough grip to color over it? And how would it react to nasty things like bending the paper and scratching it with my nails? Well, it was quite easy to color over the mixture. A very nice experience. Because doing this you feel there are thousands of possibilities of this stuff. It makes us colored pencil artists so tremendously happy. So when applied to the colored pencil and not to the drafting film itself, it adheres to the layers of pencil quite well. But when you are rough and nasty, it's quite easy to scratch it off with your fingernails. And when you bend the drafting film, it tears, cracks and comes off easily. So I think here's the next recommendation. Since the adhesion is quite delicate, don't bend your drawing. And, of course, don't scratch it with your nails. And maybe, but that's not tested, don't apply it in large amounts or on large parts of the surface. Well, the next question was, would it be possible to protect the drawing with a fixative? I've used these two different fixatives. Well, my experience with the brush and pencil fixative on the drafting film wasn't much of a success. It wasn't possible to get even coverage of the fixative, and when it dried it was still uneven. It protected just a little. When you scratch, for example, after the fixative has dried, you have to scratch a little harder than before, but you can still lift the mixture. With the other fixative from Odif, the protection was much better. But then, that one had another disadvantage. It gave a very shiny layer to the drawing.
So I think the third recommendation would be to frame your artwork to protect it. So finally I can say these products are really really great, but aren't made for drafting film. But for highlighting an area on drafting film, it's the best alternative I think. And it's really much better than the gel pen, and I liked it much better than the scratching tool too. Well, for the future there are a few questions left. How will the light fastness be? And once framed, will there be long term effects? Keep you posted.